Hi, here comes a second tip on power print. Maybe a little explanation on uh, the product itself. So the Powertex power print is made for uh, transferring uh, a laser print. That can be a A4 laser print, A3 or uh, even a smaller laser print. The bigger that's going to be uh, difficult. The bigger your picture is, the more difficult it will get. That's logic. So it is, as a matter of fact, a water-based copy transfer. Now, yesterday I showed you in the first movie how you can prepare your canvas. So the first movie was on the washing, preparing your canvas uh, before starting. If you're going to uh, apply a paper or a power print, um, then you can work on the canvas directly after washing, of course, or you can first of all apply a base ground, uh, which is, as a matter of fact, better than the power print will stick better to your canvas than it's, it's really prepared to succeed. Um, sometimes if you work directly on canvas, even after washing, it can come off, the paper can come off a little bit. When that happens, there you can or uh, adjust uh, on, on the canvas itself, or you can just recover it, and that I will show you in the next movie. So, plenty of movies to come. Now, what am I going to show you? Well, today it's going to be so simple, so easy. But for those who have never worked with power print, it's necessary. So we need Powertex for the first layer. That can be Powertex transparent, can be Powertex white, or can be Powertex ivory. Don't go for a darker color, because if you are going to apply this paper, any white space or light bright color in the paper is gonna be transparent so if you use like a yellow background here the white nose is gonna turn yellow so that we don't like to do or we don't want that to be i sh have chosen for the ivory because it's a white off and it's a nice, nice color. It makes it a little bit warmer. As always, we shake it well. Shake it, shake it, baby. All right, then let's take a little bit of ivory. Not too much. You can always add more if that's necessary. You can choose whatever tool you like. A little roll, you can roll it on. A little brush, big brush, no problem. A small palette knife, I don't know. I have only the big, the large palette knife at the moment, but I love the big palette knives. As a matter of fact, I'm a little bit addicted to the big palette knives. Okay, let's go. Make sure that you touch almost every single centimeter on your canvas. You see how fast it goes? It's a little bit faster than a brush. And so you can practice on learning how to work with a palette knife. All right, well, you see there is a little bit difference in thickness and you can just leave it as it is, wipe off palette knife. I'll try to give you a closer look. So this was not much for today but there is a lot more coming tomorrow and the days after. So have a wonderful day. It was nice to see you again. Bye bye.